Pirates State Baseball has its best record to this point of a season since moving up from the NAIA level at 13 and 4 so far in 2023. The strong start comes despite more than one broke roadblock in their way. Minot State Baseball is set to play its first 30 games away from home this spring. Life on the road has already brought more than just unfamiliar ballparks. The roads were closed, so we kind of got stuck at a gas station for 12 hours. So that was, uh, that was fun. See, the hotel didn't have hot water, so that was, that was another one. And just kind of all our, the weather is really a big thing. But this adversity has ultimately forged a team bond. These guys are really good together. No doubt they've got kind of their best friends with the group. But, but the thing is, is there's not, and you hear this term like clicks, there really isn't. You know, I think I make the rooming list, right? Who, who's with who? And I, could, I can put just about anybody with anybody, and it would be just fine. The journey through Kansas, Missouri, and Nebraska has brought wins in 13 of 17 games thus far and a 4-1 record in the NSIC. The biggest thing that we've done is just picking each other up. You know, from an offensive standpoint, if guys have a, a tough at-bat, they know then the next guy's going to come up behind them and pick them up, whether that's score a run or get on base, whatever the situation may be. We don't really beat ourselves. But the guys have done a good job of playing catch and throwing strikes and putting it in play and all those things I tell them every day. Like, it kind of sounds silly and so simple, but it's, it's really hard to do every single day. And that ability to consistently produce has the Beavers leading the conference with a 351 batting average with a pitching staff boasting the third fewest earned runs this season. Season. Everybody's just kind of contributing and knowing their role and doing their job. And as a hitter, knowing that everybody in the lineup's got my back and on the mound, just, you know, they're shoving it. So going up and, and putting up runs just keeps getting easier and easier, knowing that they're not going to really give up a 10 spot. The early success comes from a returning core of players staying to play for first year skipper Sam Boisner. I've just been really lucky that 40 of these guys stayed here without a coach. And so. Um, I don't take a lot of credit for it because they, they had the chemistry and the trust in themselves to just be here for another year, regardless of who they hired. And Minot State plays for the third and fourth times in Nebraska against Minnesota State Mankato tomorrow and isn't set to play at Corbett Field until April 15th. So those home fans have to wait a little while.